Silviculture is the cultivation and tending of forest stands. So much like a farmer practices agriculture in the farm field, the forester practices silviculture in the forest stand. I think Mark's an awesome guy. <laughs> He's one of the coolest professors I've ever known. He's so interested in helping the students. Like this thinning project is just something that he <laughs> came up with on his own. It's not even a field trip for his class. It's just he wants to give students more opportunities to go out and do stuff. He just wants to learn and then teach other people what he knows and he's great. I really want to take my students out into the world and, and see some different uh, practices that are being applied in our private and public forests. Last weekend we went to the Gifford Pinto National Forest which crosses the Cascade so I had an opportunity to expose my students to silviculture in the drier eastern Cascades and also in the more mesic and wetter forests of western Washington. We also had a chance to visit an internationally renowned research area, the Wind River Canopy Crane, and the students had a chance to get taken up into the overstory of an old growth forest, so quite an experience, I think. What we're doing in this stand is we're reducing density and we're also reducing the fuels. So the trees we've marked are the ones that we want to leave behind. They're vigorous trees with a good, healthy, deep crown, which means they have a lot of foliage. So we're going to take those adjacent trees, usually smaller diameter trees that are being impacted by bark beetles or other pests and pathogens. I've been fighting fire for the Forest Service for the last seven seasons. He talks about a lot of treatment methods that reduce the risk of large landscape fires and that has really pertained to my field interest in understanding what treatment can be applied to reduce fuel loading in the forest. Hands down the favorite thing would have to be going up in the crane. 